Hello, and welcome to the SBTI's training on supplier engagement. This session covers module number five, enabling and tracking supplier performance. After completing this module, you will know how to, first, build supplier capacity for setting science-based targets, second, track supplier progress towards achieving science-based targets, and lastly, incentivize suppliers to achieve science-based targets. As we covered in the previous module, most suppliers will need support to set their science-based targets. While the resources you provide suppliers are a helpful starting point, you should be ready to provide direct, hands-on training and support to set your suppliers up for success. Some examples of capacity building are workshops, one-on-one -on -one coaching, office hours, or e-learning for suppliers. Time and resource availability will dictate the extent to which you can engage in these programs. Internal or external sustainability experts can also be leveraged to support these efforts and ensure effective delivery of technical information. You may also consider reaching out to industry peers to deliver collaborative training to pool resources. It's important to know where your suppliers are in the process of setting their science-based targets to provide relevant and timely support. The supplier journey towards setting science-based targets includes eight steps, and it's important to remember that each step takes some time. The steps suppliers will take are as follows. First, understanding climate-related topics. Second, calculating baseline scope one and two emissions. Third, setting and reporting scope one and two targets. Fourth, implementing scope one and two emissions reductions. Fifth, screening for and calculating scope three emissions. Sixth, setting and reporting on scope three targets. Seventh, implementing scope three emissions reductions. And finally, monitoring and reporting progress against all targets. The data collected from suppliers described in the last module should help you track where your suppliers are in this journey. As data is gathered, you can categorize performance based on where your suppliers are in the process. With this information, you can better tailor your support to prioritize suppliers who are high impact and slow moving. Implementing supplier incentives can expedite progress against your supplier engagement target. Some examples of incentives you might consider include recognizing your suppliers publicly for their climate leadership, using supplier scorecards to define key performance indicators and sharing those with your suppliers, benchmarking your suppliers so they can see how they perform against their peers, making climate action a formal requirement, either in your codes of conducts or contracts, rewarding climate action with better business terms, financially penalizing suppliers for inaction, utilizing external partners to provide benefits for supplier action, and lastly, motivating suppliers via an industry coalition. As more customers signal this is a priority, it is more likely suppliers will take action. There are many incentives you can choose from, and you should select the ones that you think will have the biggest impact. Once selected, you should communicate incentives to your suppliers clearly and consistently, and can even consider layering in more incentives over time to enhance overall impact. Once your suppliers have set their targets, you must ensure that those targets meet SBTI criteria. There are two fundamental ways to do this. The first is for your suppliers to validate their targets through the SBTI. This route is encouraged, but not required. In this route, your suppliers would submit their targets to the SBTI and receive a formal approval from the SBTI. Before getting started, you should check whether any of your suppliers have already set science-based targets via the SBTI's public Companies Taking Action dashboard, which is linked in the description below. If some of your suppliers have already set SBTI-approved targets, you can count those against your supplier engagement target. Suppliers who do not validate targets via the SBTI need to submit their target details through the data collection process to your company, and you should check if suppliers' targets meet the latest SBTI boundary, timeframe, and ambition criteria. It is important to ensure that the right level of target detail is collected to enable cross-checking against SBTI criteria. 
Supplier engagement is an iterative process, and you should openly discuss improvement opportunities on a regular basis. Every year, you should review how your supplier engagement program is performing to see what has and hasn't worked. This process includes three steps. First, you should collect both internal and external data on program performance. Internally, debrief with your project team to identify program strengths and weaknesses. With suppliers, have conversations to determine how effective they feel communication and support has been throughout the year. Next, you should summarize the themes of your internal and external conversations and collaborate with your supplier engagement team to revise the annual engagement plan. Lastly, you should communicate your program changes to suppliers, making clear how these changes will affect them. In conjunction, you should detail the timing and necessary steps for these program changes and assign owners within your team. Thank you for listening to this module on enabling and tracking supplier performance. We hope this information will help as you engage your supply chain on the decarbonization journey.